Houston's hotels are a massive revenue producer for the city with Texas funding taxes funding a lot of your family's favorite cultural and entertainment activities. But like most industries, it's struggling. Tonight, Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum shows us when the hotels might bounce back and when they do, how they'll keep guests safe. Have you seen what's going on with our hotels? The lots are empty. Walking into the lobby is like, oh man, I need a haircut. No, walking into the lobby is like, it's like a ghost town. Howdy. Thank you so much for having us. This is Safet Dokara. He runs the Hotel Alessandra downtown, currently behind plexiglass. You can tell by the lovely hand sanitizer bottles, this place is shishi. But what is the occupancy rate right now? We are running uh, between 5 and 10 percent at this time. Really? Yes. The few guests who are here are asked but not required to wear masks. Staff does. Also, four to an elevator, please. The problem is you can't run something this big and this fancy, this empty for too long before you've got problems. And the problems in Houston's hotel industry abound. Average hotel occupancy has fallen off a cliff from 73 to 29 and a half percent year over year. Over the same period, the average daily rate has been cut in half from 124 bucks to 62. We have several hotels that are basically for all practical purposes closed. If our hotels fail, do you know that's going to cost us in jobs, in tax revenue, in future business? If you're thinking, what do I need a hotel for? I live here. You're way off. The biggest draw demand generator for hotels are conventions, groups that are having meetings and businesses that need people to fly in to meet. And none of that is happening right now. It's this one. This hotel right here is the very biggest in all of Houston, the Hilton Americas, the mecca for convention traffic. How are they doing? We're fortunate uh, that our hotel is uh, at about 25% occupancy and that we have uh, most of our um, guests are helping out in COVID-related um, issues throughout Houston. Almost 95% of the Hilton Americas Houston business right now is with the Texas National Guard and other coronavirus response groups. 500 employees here have been furloughed from this hotel. Some have already been hired back, but the bulk are waiting on those conventions, and that's at least a few months away. It'll be a little bit spotty and probably more consistent in the fall, mm -hmm. but we do have some uh, events uh, as early as July that have uh, continued to uh, let, us, let us know that they are coming. An optimistic attitude is about all we've got right now because the hotel occupancy tax is taking a beating. Those funds are earmarked for convention and tourism projects. January, February, and March collections were down 28%. April, May, and June collections this year are estimated to be 75 to 80% less than last year. That alone is tens of millions of dollars that will vaporize. At some point, this industry has to come back. The question is how many hotels can hold on and for how long. We'll gradually reopen as we feel that not only just demand, but we feel that it's safe. The Hilton America's Houston is better equipped to weather a storm like this than a lot of the niche hotels or motels for that matter. It takes deep pockets to make it through a downturn of this proportion. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Great perspective. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joel.